In Tales Terry mode, you're given the opportunity to revisit each movie under a different light. The Isla Sona side B scenario is by far the easiest and kind of underwhelming in terms of challenges and storyline. In this scenario, you will be building a basic transit facility to capture wild dinosaurs, check on them, and ship them offshore in a repeated cycle with minimal variation. So all in all, you will just need to build one enclosure with enough viewing platform to cover its area. And with a budget of nearly 10 million, you won't have much money worries. After listening to the mission brief, you will, as usual, need to construct an operational control center and response facility, including a generator to power it all. Next, you will need to capture and enclose the target Ankylosaurus. Note that for this one, you will need to manually tranquilize it using the helicopter, making it easier to reach the location. You will also need to build an enclosure at your base to house it. Nothing too complicated, but note that you will need viewing galleries that cover the area of it. Once the Ankylo is transported to the enclosure, you will have to build a ranger post, assign a ranger team to it, and perform a status check on the Ankylo. The status check will pinpoint the Ankylo needs for you to then modify the enclosure to ensure a 80% comfort level for the dino. You will then be tasked to build some viewing galleries so the Ankylo can be monitored. And after all that, you will need to tranquilize and send the Ankylo off-site. The next set of objectives will be the same, but this time for the Stegosaurus. You won't need to manually tranquilize them this time, which will fasten the process. Once the four Stegos are enclosed, you will have to check on them and modify the enclosure for them to reach a comfort level of 90%. Since you'll be using the same enclosure, the viewing galleries should be already covering the area, so the next objective will complete itself. And after it's ticked off, you will have to tranquilize and send off the stegos too. After the stegosaurus, we will need to repeat the process, with a twist this time, capturing and enclosing a wise ceratosaurus. Once again, you can just send the helico to tranquilize the cerato before transporting it to the enclosure. Performing a status check will reveal that the dino is sick and will need a medical check. To do so, you will need a paleo medical center. But to research and build it, you will first need an operational science center to be able to assign scientists to the task. Once the medical check is done, you will need to tranquilize the serato and transport it to the medical facility for treatment. After being healed, you can transport the dino back in the enclosure and ensure it reaches a level comfort of 90% and is viewable from the gallery. Once so then, you will have to tranquilize it and send it offshore. Just after that, a wild Spinosaurus will be attacked by raptors and die. At that point, you will be tasked to send it offshore. And that's that. The next task will be to perform a manual check on a Triceratops that you will then need to manually tranquilize and transport to the enclosure. Once there, you will need to modify the enclosure to satisfy the tribe's need, to then tranquilize it again and send it offshore. Then the final objectives will be to capture and house three Brachiosaurus, four Parasaurolophus, and six Galamimus, that can all be enclosed in the same exhibit. You can also task the ranger unit to tranquilize them all, which made the task easier. On the all-in, you will need to modify the habitat so they reach a comfort of 80%. You may need to expand the enclosure if it's not big enough. And some of you that know may need some medical attention too. After making all of them healthy and happy, you will need to tranquilize them all and send them offshore. And with that, it's another chaos theory done. I hope that video has been useful, and until next time, see ya!